All right, so I'm on vacation. I promised myself I wouldn't buy anything while I was on vacation. And of course, I'm up early drinking coffee, browsing eBay, and couldn't resist. $535 should be all Star Wars. What is up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I am the Brick Scavenger. And this hopefully is going to be an awesome Star Wars haul. Uh, I am comfortable paying somewhere in the neighborhood of $400 to $450 per pound for Star Wars. This is more than that. That's a lot more. Oh, baby. Uh, maybe we did well on this. I was thinking $535 was a lot. And it is a lot of money. There's no question about that. But that, assuming it's all Star Wars, should we make this a two-part video? Yeah, probably. That's a lot. Okay, so we're going to split this one. We're going to split this into part one and two because this is, this is a lot. So here we go. Uh, that looks like it's some accessories and stuff. Here we go. Uh, I don't know how much this is, but we'll do it in... We'll do it in two parts, maybe like that, right there. All right, so this will be part two. Here's part one. So 535, call it 540. That's $270 that we paid for all of this Star Wars. Star Wars adds up really fast. It adds up really fast because it is not hard. Can you see that? You can't see that. Let's angle this down. It adds up very fast because there's just so many, you know, like $10, $15 bills. Uh, like this right here, for example. Look at this. If it's in good condition, there is a Airborne Geo Clone. You know, that's easy $10 to $15 bucks right there. That's a good start. Here we go. Let's find some Star Wars in here. we got to recover $270 to break even. Hopefully, we're going to find a lot more. There's a brown Astromech. Um... If you're interested in any of this stuff, it will be in two different places. Although, honestly, Star Wars, I'm mostly done selling on whatnot. Most of my Star Wars stuff is headed to BrickLink now. But if you need parts and pieces, follow the link in the description below. And uh, go to my BrickLink store. I sell parts and pieces of minifigures to help you finish off your figs. Here is a swole. Uh, super battle droid. His arms are backwards. It looks like he's been lifting. So my BrickLink store is where most of this stuff is going to be found. That's not Star Wars. Let's go. That's, that's Lord of the Rings right there. I tell you what, in an all Star Wars haul, there's not much uh, that would appear in there that wouldn't disappoint me. But Lord of the Rings is not one of those things. <laughs> I'm happy to find Lord of the Rings in a Star Wars haul. Let's go. That's awesome. I don't know what specifically what character that is. But just as a general rule of thumb, Lord of the Rings is always good to find. This is uh, some uh, bomb squad legs that are beat, so those are just trash. Uh, the other place that I do sell stuff on is Whatnot. Whatnot is an app where we have uh, Lego auctions. So I will host a room where you can come hang out, chat Lego, buy Lego. It's just a lot of fun. I would highly recommend that you come join me there. We have a great time. And I can get your money off your first order if you follow the link in the description below. Uh, so definitely do that. Come say hi. Tell me you saw this video. There's one of those Han Solos. I'm telling you, Star Wars just adds up so fast. Here's a clone lieutenant helmet. Let's go. Maybe a tiny bit of wear on the right eye there, but not bad at all. This is the kind of piece that heads straight to BrickLink so that if your clone lieutenant is missing a helmet... You can come snag it from my store. Here is most of a commando droid right there. Uh, I'm already feeling like this is going to be no problem on the $270. Here is a hover tank pilot, I believe. For the most part, these are in great shape so far, too. Uh, just, to give you a, just to give you a general idea of why Star Wars adds up so fast, uh, I don't think that is the correct head. But this head sells on BrickLink for somewhere between $250 and $350. Just, just the head. People want Star Wars so much. 
that uh, it just adds up really, really fast. Some sweet helmet there. I can never remember if that's one of the good helmets. There are a couple of those helmets that are really good. I feel like this is from Solo Movie. Am I crazy on that? There are solo, the ones that are like the Mimbin, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, the, like the Han Solo in disguise. Is that what that one is? I can't remember. Um, but man, I'm telling you, these pieces add up quick. So, well, oh, here's the rest of the clone lieutenant. Look at this. Uh, this guy's been styling his hair. But how about we do something like this? And then we go like this. There you go. Now we've got a clone lieutenant, and that's not cheap right there. There are two, in case you didn't know, that that uh, pauldron's a little beat. There are two versions of this clone lieutenant. Hopefully he's not cracked. He is not. Um, two versions. One version has these kind of plain legs right here, and the other one has the printed legs. The printed legs version, obviously more expensive because the printed legs can go from anywhere from like five to eight bucks by themselves. But uh, clone lieutenants, easy 40 Maybe more than that, uh, depending on condition and, you know, demand. Uh, here is Rogue One. Oh, I'm going to totally space on his name. The uh, blind guy from Rogue One. Uh, it, it'll hit me by the end of the video, I promise. Uh, but anyway, he needs his hair. But that's a good piece right there. These legs for Super Battle Droids sell real well. Hey, there's something else that you're not going to be disappointed to find in a Star Wars lot. Uh, this is the Ninjago Wolf, um, Akita's Wolf, is that right? Something like that. But that's not a cheap wolf. That's 15 to $25, depending on what your audience is. That's awesome right there. Man, we are crushing this lot to start. Holy cow. Here's some, uh, mix of some First Order stuff and some Snow stuff. Let's see. There's a Yoda. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Star Wars. Uh, I was a little worried when I bought this at 500 because I saw this on eBay as a buy it now. And it's one of those things where you know if it's good, it's not going to last long. And when I say not last long, I'm talking about seconds, not even minutes, seconds. So you've got to make a very quick decision on whether you're willing to buy it or not. And you may not even have time to go through all the pictures because by the time you've gone through all the pictures, it may have sold. So I looked at like one or two pictures on this and said, that's good enough for me. I'm going for it. Uh, that's silver. I don't think that's C-3PO, right? That's the that's some other, I don't know, R-3PO or something like that. Uh, there's so many new Jedi torsos. I don't know what torso that is. It's probably like a Kenobi. Um, but... Anyway, you know, you commit to buy that thing and, oh, that is beat, you know, $535, that's a lot of money, uh, especially when you're doing it sort of semi-blind, And but this is feeling like it's going to go well. Oh, here's a hair, I, whoa, how about two of them? Let's go. Whoops, I dropped it. Let's go. That's a great piece right there. That is the old Hera, I believe. Those are in great condition. Man, those things add up. I'm telling you, this is, oh, this is going to be a good lot. How about the dark green astromech? Always good to get astromechs that are not R2. Uh, there's so many people out there that love to collect astromechs that, uh, you know, any astromechs that are not R2 are always good to get. Man, this is in good condition. I'm excited. Here's another hover tank pilot. Uh, I don't think that's right, though. That's what, Stormtrooper? There's a battle droid. Yeah, I'm glad we're splitting this into two videos. This is going to be a long video. 501st, that's the old 501st right there. Is it cracked? These are hard to find, not cracked. That one's just gorgeous. Heck yeah. That is great. There's a Ray mask. These are all little parts and pieces that we're going to have to upload to uh, Bricklink, but no problem. I don't mind uploading Star Wars stuff to Bricklink, even though it's time consuming. That was Kylo Ren right there, just because the value is so high. Oh. It fooled me. I thought it was done. There's uh, parts of a brown astromech there. I do not know my astromech numbers well enough to tell you what they are. There's Yoda with white hair. Let me just grab some handfuls here. That looks like that's the Mando weapon. Uh, here's another swollen <laughs> super battle droid. Uh, there is the old 501st helmet, Star Wars helmets. If you haven't watched my videos, I absolutely love getting Star Wars helmets just because they're in demand. They're expensive. People love them. Uh, and, you know, you might have a 501st without a helmet, and that will be in the Bricklink store to help you out. There's a TIE pilot. Here's uh, various pilots. And 
Commanders of Things. There is um, uh, Senate Commando. I can never remember all the different combinations. There's like four or five Senate Commandos. I assume that's right. Uh, there's parts of a super battle droid. There's <laughs> Yoda who needs to trim his toenails. Uh, there's some... Some helmets, more helmets. Is that Mimbin? Tell me that's Mimbin. That would be sweet. I might be. I'm not sure. That might be a Mimbin. Uh, Mimbin legs. I can't remember. But that would be incredible if it was. Some more weapons and things. There is uh, a uh, Palpatine torso, but I thought I saw some damage on that. Uh, on the corner there, I think that's some damage. There's old 501st legs. Man, those old 501sts, those things have gotten silly expensive. Some Leia hair. It's a Ninjago pig. Here is uh, headset Anakin. Are those Sith eyes or just angry eyes? I think they're just angry eyes. There is uh, another Han Solo. Whoops. Um, that is uh, the Woody Harrelson. I'm forgetting his name. I'm forgetting the character's name. What else we got in here? Man, this is, I'm telling you, this is a good lot right here. Here is uh, most of a Grievous. Do we have, uh, looks like the arms are a little like arranged incorrectly, but that is almost all of the white Grievous right there. That's a sweet pickup. Hopefully his head's in here, but even if it's not, I probably already have one. That's seen a little bit better days. Uh, some pilots. There's uh, an old school Ewok, that old brown color. What else do we got in here? There's Ray. There's another Palpatine with tan hands. Senate, I'm sorry, just a commando droid. Here is Dengar throwing some flames. There's R2. What else we got in here? Let's see. Is that Rex? Look at that head. I think that head's actually pretty expensive. Sweet. What is Star Wars raccoon? <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh, the raccoon that might have to stay with me. The kids will love that. Uh, there's a, these are the kinds of parts and pieces that I hold on to mostly for whatnot, because there's a lot of people that need jet packs and things like that. Um, various stormtrooper. Here's another airborne helmet. Uh, let's see. Mix and match of some stuff here. We're doing very well on this. It might not look like we're scoring huge, but I'm telling you. Star Wars pieces just add up so fast. There's a Luke Skywalker. There's a Chewy. More old 501st. Let's go. Uh, more old 501st. Nice. There's, I don't know, Jedi probably Kenobi maybe. It's an interesting lightsaber there. Look at that. That's funny. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Here is Leia wearing some medical gloves as a clone. That's pretty funny. That'll need to get rearranged for sure. There's another Mandalorian. Here is a, is that the Shadow Stormtrooper? I think it is. Uh, I always forget. Even though it's pearl dark gray, I think that's the Shadow. Uh, there's just various, uh, there's that, this is an old Kenobi head, I think. That might actually be a good head. Nougat heads sell very well on Bricklink. I sell so many every single day. Here's Baze Malbus. That's the other one that goes with, I promised you I'd remember his name. This is Baze Malbus. This is, uh, I'm still forgetting his name. Uh, Baze Malbus and uh, Imwe, Chirrut Imwe. I told you I'd remember. Uh, here, I love this one. I love this one. The purple uh, Jar Jar. Can't remember his name. Tarples? I think that's Tarples. I'm telling you, this is a good lot right here. Here is part of the Gray Grievous. Uh, is that just a Mace Windu with the wrong arms? I think that might be what that is. Here's an Anakin. Uh, he, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a pretty good hair piece, actually, I think. I think that goes to uh, Dooku, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Every time I see these legs, I hope they're printed because they are... Really expensive when they're printed. There's one of the yellowish, orangish astromechs there. What else are we going to find in here? More hover tank pilot parts. Not complete. There's the P2 Geonosis clone. Uh, one of the... There's two that are very similar on this. One of them is very rare and one of them is very common. And honestly, I don't know which one's which. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's an odd color. 
I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's kind of a slightly darker, more caramel type color. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not even sure what color you'd refer to that. Is that the nougat, not light nougat, perhaps? Uh, there's a Mando helmet, more helmets. Star Wars, even Star Wars nougat heads. I'm telling you, they add up quick. Uh, let's see if we can find any other treasure in here before uh, we call it. Nice, here's a little treasure right here. Look at that. That is the Super Battle Droid um, Blaster Arm. Hopefully this clip is good. These clips have a tendency to break, but if it is good, you can upgrade your Super Battle Droids and make them uh, more powerful and more expensive for that matter. What else we got in here? Let's see. Oh, hello there. This is the sand red uh, super bad. I'm sorry, sand red battle droid. Where is the legs? That is a very cool piece. That's an unusual color. Uh, I'm trying to find. Here's dark red, just for comparison on camera. If you don't know, this is referred to as sand red. Really was not made very much or for very long. So that's super cool to find. I don't even know if I have that on my wall. We'll have to check that out. Hey, look at that. There is a shock trooper, and boy, is that in good condition. Holy moly, let's go. This lot, it just upgraded itself for sure. Uh, more, here's another uh, airborne. That was a, a Jedi of some kind. Again, Star Wars helmets add up quick. Uh, clones, that is probably the base to that astromech, orange astromech we saw earlier. What did we say we had to generate out of this? 270? I think that's a no-brainer on this. Here is uh, Newt Gunray. Very nice on the Newt Gunray. Love it. Let's see. We've got more battle droids. No way. Oh, man. Can you appreciate this right here? I think if this is what I think it is. Let go. You got a death grip on that. Uh, you guys know what this is? At the, I think the head is wrong. But this is what's telling me there is a Hoth... Uh, Rebel, like that's really old. I'm not even sure it's super expensive. It's just kind of fun and nostalgic. I believe it has the brown visor. And I think it should be old gray on the arms and old gray on the legs. Uh, but just in terms of nostalgia, that's super cool. I think that's what that is. Uh, here you go. Here's a Kashyyyk. This is 15, 20 bucks. No problem at all. The Kashyyyk Scout right there. Sweet on that. Very excited to find that. Here's another white-haired Yoda. Here's another P2 Geo helmet. Sweet. That's not the printed legs I was hoping for. Uh, man, these things add up. I'm telling you, is this Chopper right here? I think that's Chopper's, uh, you know, the top of Chopper. So that's sweet to find. Uh, these guys add up quick, too. Just these, uh, I call them Senate Commando clone heads. But these sell for a couple bucks, buck fifty to two bucks each, no problem on Bricklink. Uh, that's some non-Star Warsy stuff. This must be more Lord of the Rings, right? It's got to be. I would assume that's the wrong arm in terms of white, but short brown cape. That head's probably good. I don't know what his hair slash hat helmet should look like. But I'm betting that's Lord of the Rings. Always, always excited to get Lord of the Rings. The only problem with getting Lord of the Rings is I always have to check my wall to see if I have to put it on my wall because my Lord of the Rings collection is not complete, not really close to complete. So that cuts into the profit. That looks like that is the white, um, white Darth Vader head. If we can get it out of this, what I think is a fake, oh no. These, oh, there we go. Okay, I think that's a fake uh, helmet there. But there is the white Vader head. That's like three bucks right there. Here is, is this Ant-Man? There's there's uh, Endgame Ant-Man. That's fun. What else we got in here? There's an R2. Hey, we get to add even more. The Kashyyyk Battle Droids. I've been trying to hold on to those for my collection. Is that the hover tank pilot again? I can't remember. Uh, here's another Mando helmet and another Mando helmet. Always glad to have Mando helmets. Let's see. We've got uh, reddish brown heads. I just got an order on Bricklink for like 25 reddish brown heads. Somebody had a plan. I don't know what it was, but glad I could have those in stock for you. Some of these helmets are really good for the uh, Rogue. I think those are Rogue One. Maybe they're Resistance, but I think they're Rogue One. Um, 
Here is capes, capes, very expensive. Here's a Kenobi headset with a TIE Pilot. This, I believe, is with that uh, Solo movie as well. This is the one I was thinking of as I drop it. There is um, that Han Solo helmet with the printed goggles on from the Solo movie. Uh, here's the Chirrut Imwe again. Sweet. Uh, here's another one. Whoa, let's go. There's two of them. One for Han and one for Woody. Woody Harrelson, I believe. Uh, let's see. What else do we got in here? Yeah, this is great. Here's a Darth Vader helmet. This is the, uh, you might not think much of this. This is a saxophone with the black mouthpiece printed on there. Uh, significantly better, if I remember right, than just the standard saxophone with no printing on it. Uh, some sunken eyes there. I think those are pretty good. Ooh, look at this. P2 shock trooper helmet. Let's go. Does that go like that? There's enough shock trooper torsos that I can't keep them all straight. But either way, the P2 shock trooper helmet. That's a nice little find right there. BB-8. Oh, ooh, look at this. This is, please don't be cracked. This is the uh, much more expensive, man, that thing is in ridiculously good condition. Uh, much more expensive Ahsoka, I think like sort of teenage Ahsoka, Padawan Ahsoka. Can't remember the exact name for it, but um, that's a sweet torso right there. What else we got in here? We've got, look at these. These just add up. You know, if you guys don't believe me, I'm telling you, look at the way these things add up. Boom, boom, boom. $1.50, $2, $1.50, like, you know, five to six bucks just from those three right there. Uh, here is a uh, pilot helmet. That's a nice piece right there. Here's another one of those uh, slightly off colors. Don't know what that is. Uh, here is another one of the Woody Harrelson heads. Nice. What else we got over here before we finish up part one? Got a bunch of these. This has got to be the Woody Harrelson or the Han Solo torso, right? It's got to be, maybe it goes with that helmet. There's the uh, Yoda. We've got a spongy cape. We've got an Ahsoka. Uh, an Ahsoka probably goes with this, right? Probably something like that. What else we got in here? That looks like Bruce Banner, but I don't know if that's right. Uh, there's Aquaman, and we've got a whole bunch of blasters. Blasters can add up fairly quickly, too. So there you go with part one. $270, no-brainer. Absolutely no-brainer. This was a score. Hopefully part two is going to deliver as well, but part one absolutely delivered. Thank you guys for being here. Tune in tomorrow for part two of our $535 Star Wars haul. Let's go. I'm pumped. We'll see you then.